Way back in the early 80s, Jack Hargreaves was able to produce a new programme that was a sequel to Out of Town. It was called Old Country and it ran for about three or four years. He often used Dave Swallow, who was a Bournemouth tackle dealer, quite an experienced and competent angler, to provide the sport. I'm revisiting a stretch of the Upper Stour that wasn't that far from where Jack lived back in those days. He lived in the shadow of Bull Barrow, and so the Upper Stour wasn't very far away at all. Dave Swallow, all those years ago, fished with a pole and first of all caught some good roach on casters, and then he switched to trying to dangle a piece of bread on the shallows to catch a chub. That was midsummer on a very low river. In early autumn, which is when I visited it, the river had been really high. There's been a big flood, eight foot above normal, just about over the fields in places. But now it's dropped right back. There was rain two days ago, which has brought the river up an inch or two and put more colour into the river. I'm a bit concerned whether the chub will feed or not, but uh, as it turns out, they did. And I used bread on the hook and some uh, liquidised bread as ground bait to attract the fish. I've shown the familiar church of uh, Manston, which is uh, shown in the original programme. We can't fish where Dave fished because that's on the other bank and where he was is now a bungalow with a uh, small paddock where they keep sheep and chickens and stuff. But we're pretty close, not far away at all. The current in this swim goes across to the far side. So I'm fishing on the inside of the main current, what we call the crease, and feeding a little ball of uh, liquidised bread every cast. That floats when I first throw it in, but quickly sinks and filters down through the swim. I'm hoping that quite quickly some chub will be around. If I keep quiet, maybe I'll get one. Fishing a 3BB Drennan wire stem Avon. Just a simple bulk with a couple of uh, shot below that, a size 14 hook with a pinch of flake. The wind's upstream, so there's no real problems with uh, controlling the line. It's around about seven or eight feet deep here. There's cabbages on the inside. So if I hook any bigger fish, I've got to watch the snags. Well, that's a good bite. It feels a much better fish. I'd had one or two small chub earlier, but this is much bigger. He's staying deep. He's trying to get into those old lilies and roots. Trying to get across to the far side at times. Keep up a lot of pressure. I don't want him to get into the rushes on the far bank. It's well across the river now. See the line cutting through the water. You pump him back in. Sometimes you can get them to the top and take a gulp of air, but this one isn't giving up easily. There's some reeds down to my left. He's trying to get in there. 
If I can hold him short, we'll be all right. Nearly made it. Got him. On the upper stour, four pounders are big fish. Very occasionally someone gets a five pounder, but there aren't the big seven and eight pounders of the lower river. That'll do nicely. Look at that big mouth. Quickly weigh it, having zeroed the scales. Just over four pounds. We're slipping back. An odd big chub all through this stretch but mostly they're fairly small and lively this is much smaller but it's still scrappy again he tries to get into the snags At a pound and a half, maybe this one. This isn't a chub this time. Feels more like a roach. Still lively enough though. Worth a landing net. Hope you've enjoyed this video revisiting where Dave Swallow fished 35 years ago. There's plenty more videos to come fairly soon, we'll soon be out on the bank again. Please click like and subscribe. I'll continue to build the channel, got lots of different ideas and as the seasons change and the rivers change, get out there again pretty soon. Might revisit some of the other places that uh, Jack went back in the day.